So welcome back once again. This is now the second episode of my uh, journey towards a sub 35 10k. Um, today I'm going to be doing a session that I think is one of the best sessions really for 10k training and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. The session in question is 4x2 kilometers at target 10k pace with three minutes rest between reps. I did originally ask around a few friends at university to see if you know anyone might be available to help me with filming for this one but um, obviously a lot of people were really busy at the moment and the rest of them didn't respond. So yeah, I won't bore you guys any longer with this one. I'll see you on the warm-up. So yeah, I've now just done about a three kilometer warm-up, uh, nice and easy, and now I'm at the park where I'm gonna be doing this session. It's about a 1.1 kilometer loop or something. So uh, yeah, nice and flat. Um, but yeah, um, it may be a little bit hard for me to um, film this one obviously i'm not probably not going to be able to get many action shots given that i'm here alone really but um unless, unless I've just had, i've just had an idea just now so yeah just done a few more uh, warm-up stretches and some strides now so i guess there's no point in me delaying this any longer let's get the session underway One rep down, and I'm already tired. Oh dear, that is not the best sign for the rest of this workout. Um, I think, as far as I'm aware, I just about got target pace from both of them. I think I did both reps in 3.29, so pretty much spot on, but it did really take me a while to sort of find that pace, really. I was kind of jumping around a bit. Sometimes I was doing 340 then all of a sudden I was doing 320 and it was like where am I just doing walking recoveries for these ones today no jog recoveries this time but yeah got about just under a minute and a half left before the next rep well let's see if we can hold it let's do it halfway there now so yeah I'm struggling with this one a bit um, I find that the first kilometer I can hold the pace completely fine and then the second kilometer it gets quite tough especially near the end but I guess that's the good thing about this session the fact that it's 2k rather than 1k it just really helps you build that endurance and so useful for the longer races we're holding the pace quite consistently for now but we're only halfway there, so I guess I'll see what I've got in me for the rest of them. I will say also that it is quite hard doing it while carrying my phone around. <laughs> but it is what it is. We're here to take you guys along the ride with me. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> I have to say, in all honesty, I felt better on that one than I did on the first two. <laughs> Managed to pick up the pace a little bit near the end there. So, only one more rep to go. There's about two minutes of rest left. Yeah, now that we've only got one more, and you know, it's just one last effort. Feeling good, so hopefully we can keep that pace just a little bit longer. All right, let's do it. I pushed it on those last two. I think I was around 3.23 or so for both of those kilometers. So that's sub 17 5K pace and sub 34 10K pace. So really did push it at the end there. That was a tough one, but we got through it. And all of them, we did hit target pace. I surprised myself there a bit, to be honest. I thought, after that first one, I thought, maybe you know one more rep i'll be able to hold the pace but then i 
expected myself to start to slip a bit but no in the end we sped up throughout the whole thing which is what i like to see if i'm being completely honest but so overall i called this session a success if i'm being perfectly honest i mean i did exactly what i wanted to do i was able to hold my target pace for all four reps eight kilometers total good progress really towards that sub 35 10k so yeah just gonna do a cool down in a moment back back home and then make myself some dinner because i i am hungry i will say so i'll catch up with you guys later i hope you enjoyed joining me on this session out here in the park it was a good one so on the way to that sub 35 10k we are oh. all right see you later have a good one and so i'm now back here in the same seat in the same room as always um, to go through once again what i did in my last week of training basically so i'll do my best not to waffle on with this one and let's get right into it so in total i ran around the same as last week i think i did slightly less but still just over 80 kilometers which i was really happy with and yeah let, let's uh, go through my week then so starting with monday as usual uh, monday this time was just an easy run um much like most of my easy runs there isn't really anything for me to say aside from actually there is with this one because um i ended up doing 11k but i was only supposed to do 10k i um completely forgot the route that i'd planned and ended up going the wrong way i mean it didn't really matter in the end it just meant doing you know a little bit extra but um yeah that, i guess that's the only story i really have to tell from that run so i can go straight on to tuesday and then skip past tuesday i suppose because um well you've already you've already seen it <laughs> so yeah tuesday was the 4x2k session uh, which went really well and then wednesday was double run day both of them were just easy runs again uh, between 6 and 8k both of them were um yeah so you know flying through this one so far um <laughs> so then we get to thursday and i was originally just going to do another easy run but in the end i actually decided to sort of spice it up a little bit and uh, do one kilometer easy followed by 6k steady and then another 1k easy i haven't really done many steady runs before um it's something that i don't know why i haven't really done them that much before but it just is how it is i suppose and so i did one um and i honestly really enjoyed it uh, my steady pace i sort of aimed for between 355 and 405 per kilometer i thought that would be a you know sort of a good area to go i mean it felt it felt like how a steady run should feel so i guess that's the main thing really and yeah i, I did really enjoy it friday as usual was rest day so absolutely nothing to say on that uh saturday on the other hand i have a lot of stuff to say um <laughs> so park run day once again um this week, the weather forecast leading up to the park run was looking basically perfect for um, a really fast time. So I did decide to go back to Littlehampton Park Run, which is where I set my old PB of 1650, and see if I could get sub 1630 on the course. But upon arrival, it turned out to actually be a lot windier than forecast, or at least it felt that way. Um, had a really strong headwind on the first and third straight going out. Uh, so if you don't know Littlehampton, the course is a double out and back. So we had a headwind on the way out and then tailwind on the way back and then repeat basically so i mean better than the other way really i mean i'd much rather have um you know the headwind on the way out than the way back really um but yeah it, it was quite it was a lot stronger than forecast but we definitely gave it a good go i did film a little bit while i was there so i guess i could play some of that now for you so back here at little hampton park run today uh, we're gonna go for 16:30 on this one legs are feeling it uh, a little bit windy but we'll give it our all and see what we can do one thing that i have to mention though is that i did actually get to meet uh chris that running guy who's another running content creator here on youtube i'll leave a link to his channel down in the description um yeah so got to have an amazing chat with him both before and after the park run as well as getting a photo of course so it's great to meet uh, another running youtuber that i watch i do watch quite a lot of um running youtubers obviously I, I watch a lot of youtube in general so a lot of my i suppose daily dose is running content you know to go alongside uh sidemen videos uh old top gear clips and um uh monkey but yeah i do always really enjoy meeting you know people that i've obviously seen on youtube before i obviously met a lot of people uh the bristol track club 5k that i watch on youtube and yeah so it was really great to meet uh that running guy and i actually ended up being uh featured and mentioned in his video or his latest video uh from that day um which really meant a lot i've gained quite a few subs from it so um a big thank you to um chris for doing that for me um 
he really didn't need to but um yeah it's, it was great to hear that sort of my interaction with him meant something to him as well and uh is, you know giving him the drive to continue making videos he was also kind enough to uh, send me some of the footage that uh, he captured from the day uh, he filmed some pov footage from his park run so yeah now i guess i'll go through the actual run with you so we set off and we were immediately going straight into a headwind um for the first 1.25 kilometers uh wasn't feeling too great i mean i felt i felt decent like, i felt pretty good in my warm-up but running against the wind always feels obviously a lot harder so the first kilometer I went through in about 321 so you know that's on for what 16.45 5k pace so slower than what my target was which did get me a little bit concerned but as soon as we made that first u-turn the pace started to pick up once again I ran the second kilometer in about 317 318 somewhere around there so more on pace that time and then the first half of the third kilometer going back to the turnaround to start the second lap my pace was hovering around that 315 per kilometer point so that's almost on pace for an all-time 5k pb so yeah and it felt really good as well so you know that gets me wondering if there was no wind at all you know what could i do on that course really um but after the second turnaround we then had the headwind again obviously and this was when it got really tough uh with my pace slowed down to again around 321 322 or so for when we went through the third kilometer and then on the fourth kilometer uh, that headwind it, it was it was strong it was definitely not five miles an hour it felt much more like somewhere between 15 and 20 miles an hour probably but um yeah so i struggled to hold even sub 330 per kilometer pace i think i was going at about sort of 331 by the time i got to the u-turn um so yeah as soon as we made that last u-turn it was just 1.25 kilometers to go all straight all flat down to the finish i basically just went full jeremy clarkson mode and had it in the back of my head just could just hear him yelling Power! and um yeah so I, I put the hammer down instantly basically and by the time we actually hit the four kilometer point i'd already brought the pace back down to um i think around 326 327 and then the last kilometer i ended up running in 307 which if i did for the whole thing that would get me 1535 for 5k so yeah, yeah, that's actually my fastest kilometer split that I've ever done at a park run. Um, I am happy that it was the last kilometer rather than the first kilometer because then that makes me kind of happy that I feel like I'm almost strategizing my runs a little bit better and not setting off too hard. But um, yeah, I gave it absolutely everything down to the finish. Um, I think the last few hundred meters I was running at sub three minute kilometer pace for um, and I ended up running 1638 so not quite sub 1630 but I am genuinely really happy with that I mean obviously it's a new park run PB so that's always welcomed by me and yeah it was a really great morning out I really enjoyed it uh, despite the headwind and uh, gets me excited for you know future park runs what could I do if there was no wind uh, maybe an all-time PB might be on the card soon who knows I also forgot to mention that if you remember what happened in this video getting a new PB meant only one thing forget time and then finally we got sunday which of course is another long run day uh, i actually ran 23 kilometers on this long run uh, which is the furthest i've ever gone on a single run since around november time um so yeah i was really happy with that managed to hold pace fairly consistently uh it was quite warm out there <laughs> i will say so the heat did get to me a little bit um later on in the run but yeah felt felt pretty good during it and yeah that that's really my whole week um again yeah so overall i think my uh training for this sub 35 10k goal is going quite well actually uh the tuesday session really made me a lot more confident in my ability to hold that 330 kilometer pace obviously the park run went really well and yeah lots of lots of good runs so um that that's all from me really here today so thank you very much for watching this video uh, i hope you did enjoy it i know it was a long one but this has been episode two of my training journey for a sub 35 10k uh, if you're training for a 10k goal or any other race really, then uh, be sure to let me know in the comments how your training's going. I'm always happy to hear it. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all from me today. So um, have a good one and I'll see you later.